Good morning. On behalf of the management of Cyclone Manufacturing, I, Buzz Forbes, would like to extend a very warm and hearty welcome to Honorable Minister Souza, uh, our uh, local MPP, Bob Delaney, various MPs present, dedicated team members, members of the media, and all our valued guests. I would like to take this opportunity to provide some information about the company. Founded in 1964 in Mississauga, Cyclone is a tier one vertically integrated manufacturer of final finish processing and precision specialty components of sub-assembly of the aerospace and defense industry. The company has all along focused on the aerospace sector and is a reputed system solution provider for such sophisticated and high profile customers in Canada, US and internationally like Bombardier, Spirit, Airbus, Boeing, Triumph, AIDC, Israeli Aerospace, and Lockheed Martin. The company services local tier one and tier two suppliers, such as the Noranco Group, Centra, Ampriere, Cos, VAC Development. The company deals with customers not only locally, but also all over Canada, the US, Europe, and Asia. The company recently started exporting to China. Mr. Andrew Sohai, our president, joined the company in 1978 as a CNC operator and took over the reins of the company in 1989 from a humble beginning of just 24,000 square feet in Mississauga and just 25 employees. Mr. Sohai has successfully and steadily expanded the company. The company currently operates out of four facilities totaling over 300,000 square feet in Mississauga and Milton and employs over 600 staff members. In February 2017, the company inaugurated a new plant in Poland for servicing its customers in Europe. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful, which is true for our president, Andrew Sohai, whom I now call upon to say a few words. Good morning, welcome, welcome to Cyclone. Nice guests, distinctive guests. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, <coughs> Bas, probably you mentioned everything what, uh, <coughs> what, what I have to say, but uh, uh, <coughs> our, uh, our, our expansion started uh, mainly in 2002 when we moved to Rapistan. <coughs> uh, from uh, from uh, Timberley, we double our space <coughs> and um, uh, since 2002, despite recessions, uh, despite the good uh, problems in economy, we actually increasing our production on average uh, between 20, uh, between 15 to 20 percent a year. We are vertically integrated integrated company. What that means is uh, uh, we 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 can supply entire uh, component finished uh, uh, to to. Uh, to our customers, such as Boeing, Airbus, Bombardier, Embraer. <clears throat> we don't supply to airlines. Many people asking me that question. Uh, we're supplying uh, spare parts as well, but we're selling them to, our, to Boeing or Airbus, and then Airbus Boeing, Boeing is uh, sup uh, selling that to, to airlines. Um, as uh, we, we right now, we, 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 we're shipping our components uh, all over the world. It's a global business. <laughs> Our components moving many, many times uh, to, through different countries until uh, uh, they arrive in Seattle or Toulouse uh, or Montreal for final assembly. You cannot find an ad, uh, one airplane, uh, passenger airplane, uh, without our components. And there could be some small business jets, uh, but uh, commercial jets we supplying all, all the components. Uh, um, Altogether, we have close to 15,000 15, uh, different components uh, we're making, and, and business is growing uh, uh, steadily. We don't see, at present time, uh, slowdown, and, and forecast is we're going to be expanding over the next uh, 20 years. Uh, right now, uh, business is sold out for the next 10 years at current production rates. Um, so, so prospects are very good, uh, and we, as a privately owned company, uh, very few is left, and and actually our customers prefer to do business with us rather than big corporations. Uh, reason why? Because we react faster. We supplying much faster than 
than than big corporation. If if uh, <coughs> if um, if part is needed uh, from PCC, or, or, or then then this process is much more difficult. Uh, I'm getting telephone call, and and we we can supply comp parts with assemblies within uh, within a few days. <coughs> so that's um, that's how it works. Um, we have here um, in in Ontario four uh, four uh, plants, uh, one more in Poland. Uh, we. Uh, we added uh, in 2000 and, um, uh, 2004, we added M Milton plant. Uh, 2007, during recession, we added uh, Century plant. And this one, uh, three years ago, and ex expanded uh, uh, last year. If the city of Mississauga give me permit soon, then we're going to start expansion on, on Century as well. So at that time, we're going to be close to half a million square feet if we finish the, our plan. Um, we're going to have a tour. I, I'll show you what we're doing. After um, you, uh, you welcome to our famous, famous barbecue. Today is Wednesday. Uh, so we, we do uh, every Wednesday. So in summertime, we, we do barbecue. So if you wish to stay uh, 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 tw until 12 o'clock, then, then uh, you're very welcome. Again, thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Souza, please. Thank you, Andrew. The future indeed belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their achievements. It is a beautiful day, and all of you look amazingly nice. We all know why we have gathered here today for a very special announcement. I now call upon Honorable Minister Charles Souza, Member of the Ontario Provincial Parliament of Mississauga South and Ontario Minister of Finance to make this very important announcement. Um, Buzz, thank you for the introduction and what a great name for someone that works at Cyclone. This is I, everybody should have a name like Buzz when they're look, working in the aerospace industry. It works well. Um, I'm delighted to be here together with my colleagues, uh, uh, Bob Delaney, who's the member for this area, Harinder Mali, um, Amrit Mangit, and Vic Dillon, all of whom have been partnering uh, alongside our teams to try to provide support and to encourage economic development of our respective communities, and certainly this organization, the work that you're doing, Andrew, is tremendous. In fact, here we are having a press conference and you've got everybody working still. The doors are opening. We got this gentleman with his headphones so he doesn't get disturbed by the, the press conference because work never ends and we have to keep it going. Um, I'm also here together with my colleagues on behalf of our friend Brad Duguid, the Minister of Economic Development and Growth, and uh, to announce in his stead what it is that we are about to do. Andrew, thank you very much, and your entire team, in fact, at Cyclone Manufacturing to host us today. Thank you for the invitation for the barbecue. Every Wednesday, we'll be here. <laughs> but it's also great to see this incredible facility and the talented people that work here, to see you making important contributions to Ontario's economy. Ontario's strong economy, I may add. We're leading Canada, we're leading the G7 in growth over the past three years and its foreseeable future. And companies like yours are creating those very jobs. We've added over 25,000 jobs just in July. In fact, all those jobs lost during the recession have recovered, plus an additional half a million more, bringing us to 720,000 net new jobs since the depths of the recession. And let me add that the majority of them are full-time in the private sector and paying above average wages. Our government must continue to be focused on those jobs of the future to keep up with maintaining our competitiveness. We lowered business taxes during that period of time. We're focusing on modernizing our regulations so that we can minimize some of the burdens and continue to make critical investments in our infrastructure, which by the way is the largest in our province's history, over 190 million over 13 years, to help get those goods to market more quickly. And certainly in this sector, that's critical for your competitiveness, all of which is to support Ontario's transition into an innovation-based economy. 
And one such sector that, one such sector that fills that bill is aerospace. Ontario's aerospace industry directly employs around 21,000 people. And our government is proud to be a partner for the innovative companies in this sector, which is what brings us here today. Cyclone manufacturing is a valued member of Canada's aerospace sector. They're a regular participant in Ontario and Canada's delegations, official delegations to Paris and Fambro air shows. We all take pride that Ontario-based manufacturers are part of a supply chain for virtually every passenger aircraft program in the world. And Cyclone leads in that success story. Your customer list has already been acknowledged as a who's who in the industry leaders, including Airbus and Boeing, Gulfstream and Lockheed Martin. These companies demand the very best because they can virtually go anywhere. And that means Cyclone can never stand still. You're constantly improving, investing in technology, boosting innovation, offering something above and beyond, and maintaining your competitors, above your competitors. To maintain that competitiveness is why our government has also introduced a 10-year, $2.7 billion Jobs and Prosperity Fund, so as we can partner with these very industries that stand us above the rest. The fund supports strategic investment that enhances productivity, bolsters innovation, and grows exports. In Cyclone, production and the programs that you've offered in an application meets all those criteria. It's why we're so proud to support you. And it is why I'm pleased today, on behalf of my colleagues on, and the province of Ontario, to announce a grant of up to $5.19 million through the Jobs and Prosperity Fund. This complements a total project value of $64.88 million. And it's a major vote of confidence in Ontario's aerospace sector. It's also another significant boost to Ontario's advanced manufacturing capabilities. Because of your leadership, the project will create 132 new high-value jobs and help to safeguard 554 existing positions. The funding will go towards the state-of-the-art CNC production technologies, new equipment to bring finishing processes in-house that are currently outsourced, and the expansion of existing premises with longer-term additions of a new facility. These investments will boost Cyclone's competitiveness through greater innovation, improved cost competitiveness and energy efficiency. Partnering with companies like Cyclone will help Ontario stay ahead of the curve and lead in the new economy. I congratulate you, all of you, for being part of this innovation, for leading in advanced manufacturing, and for enabling Ontario to step up to the world in the technology and in the talent that you provide in this very premises. I look forward to watching Cyclone's continued growth and success here in Ontario. And no one is prouder than having someone like you in their riding. And Mr. Delaney, who has himself taken a lot of initiatives in trying to be innovative in the work that he does in our caucus, is uh, often spoken of some of the great companies that exist right here in Mississauga. A champion of himself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bob Delaney. Thank you very much for a nice announcement. Uh, I guarantee you money well spent. And uh, we, for sure, we're going to meet our uh, promises. Most of the time, we double our promises. So thank you very much again. Over, under promise, over deliver. Well, thank you very much, Charles and Andrew and Buzz. You know, the last important guy in the aerospace industry named Buzz walked on the surface of the moon. <laughs> and I think that the next time human beings set foot on the surface of the moon, the components, some of the components in the vehicle that takes them there are gonna be made right behind us, right here in Meadowvale. <laughs> At the bottom of the recession, Andrew Sohai moved uh, his production facility here to Meadowvale and took a leap of faith 
that um, he had a business that he could build and that he would do it right here in Northwest Mississauga. And he has grown and grown and grown. And the reason that we're here to celebrate Ontario's continuing investment in cyclone manufacturing is because while uh, Andrew has uh, referred to some of the uh, response problems that you have with a multinational, how do people get to be multinationals? Well, often just like Andrew, they start small and they grow, but they get to a point where the, sp the, the speed of their growth can actually imperil the health of the enterprise. And what Andrew has managed to do is to work with the province of Ontario and to say, so that growth doesn't kill the goose that lays the golden eggs, we're here to help you build this company, expand your prosperity in this uh, area, employ more people in this area, meet your customers' needs with the things that come from the hands and the minds of the people who are working right behind us, and in so doing, ensure that if any of you have flown on any airline in the last six or seven years, you've flown on an aircraft, some of whose components were made in that factory right behind us. That's something that not very many people can say. It's that ability to do something that a lot of people dream of, which is to start a small business and to grow it through a medium-sized business and then get to the point where it's a pretty large business. But Andrew has managed, Andrew and his family have managed to take cyclone manufacturing and get it through that big gap between a small to medium sized business and a medium to large sized business by partnering with our level of government and with the feds and um, in so doing ensure that um, uh, Andrew can continue to grow at the pace that cyclone manufacturing is growing that um, uh, Robert and the rest of the staff can continue to make promises at air shows and know full well that they can deliver. So that if somebody calls and says, here are the drawings, I need this component in a short number of weeks, the chances are pretty good that somebody will get back to them in a few days and say, yeah, we can do that, and that Robert will go across to some place like the Paris Air Show and say, hey, remember that uh, uh, component that you asked for? Well, here's a picture of it in our factory and we're actually ready to deliver it. And I think that's pretty close to the truth, isn't it? So that's the thing that makes a small business like Cyclone grow into a medium to a large size business. And that's the thing that the difference that um, uh, keeps a business like Cyclone responsive, um, that keeps it uh, local and that keeps it ahead of the curve, which means that if um, Robert Sohai or Andrew or any of the rest of the staff say, we can deliver on a part that nobody else can deliver on, we can make you something that your other suppliers haven't been able to deliver, they know that the people that they've brought there, the careers that they've built, um, those people can make that promise come true. On behalf of uh, the province of Ontario and on behalf of all of the men and women who live in this area and who work uh, behind us in this factory, uh, to all of you here at Cyclone, thank you for your vision of the future of aviation. Thank you for um, applying your unique technology to deliver an airframe part without a single rivet or a single weld. Um, something that nobody else in the world does as well as you and certainly nobody does as quickly as you. You're one of the gems that uh, make manufacturing the fastest growing part of our uh, northwest uh, corner of Mississauga here. You're part of what makes um, aerospace one of the uh, sectoral leaders right here in northwest Mississauga. Keep up the good work. I look forward to coming back with even more money in the future. Thank you, uh, guys. Thank you, MPP Delaney. Those were really encouraging words. Um, as Andrew mentioned, we have a track record of over-delivering and under-promising. And I'm sure we are on track for this, that we will over-deliver from what we have promised. I would now like to thank each and every one of you for taking time out from your busy schedule and marking this spectacular morning with your glorious presence. Thank you indeed for coming and joining us for this nice occasion. Thank you. I'm not sure if I was supposed to take questions. Is that correct? Why you guys want to come up? And if there's any, uh... yeah, you can come. Yeah, absolutely. Where's Robert? 
Yeah. Come on up here, man. The tough questions are going to you. <laughs> Go ahead. Any media questions? Well, this is a photo op opportunity. Okay. <laughs> Everybody smile. Go ahead. I just wanted to wait. Like, I don't have a question about this, but I did want to, I was asked to ask you about the new gaming and casino that's going into Woodbine and how that will affect Niagara. So um, we're all sensitive to the modernization of gaming in the province. It's been in the plan for some time. It's also uh, been part of our initiative to support Niagara. In fact, we've taken the additional step of opening up uh, the process in Niagara so that they can be competitive going forward. We just introduced a new entertainment complex in Niagara. Um, we're working alongside the community at the request of council and the mayor to open up a bid for Niagara so that day two can be part of the modernization strategy, which we did do. And that's going forward as we speak. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Um, sorry, I just can't take a picture of you guys. Oh, you want us to move around a brief in this podium? <laughs> Any more questions? Okay, let's do another, let's do a photo off here. Okay. 